What's up, y'all? I got a banger from Alpha Central. Let's get straight into it. Damn, girl. Let me take you out on a... Them BBLs killing y'all. <laughs> and the thighs don't match. Shots fired! Stop. Shots fired! Stop doing it, ladies. We can tell. Hey. No. Get the fuck off my car, then. Wait, this is your car? I'll yeah. just date. Imagine having to tell your kids that's how y'all met. When she placed your entire worth in the kind of car you drove. <laughs> the reason I thought it was okay for me to was because I thought no one would ever find out about it. Congratulations. Stupid. You yourself. I mean, you gotta come up with come a better on, reason Mia. than, um, a bold-faced lie. Especially when that's your whole brand now. Thanks. I have come to be more honest about Pun my intended. age. But I'm also 36. Yuck. <laughs> yeah. Do you want kids? Yeah. Oh, jeez. I think those eggs are scrambled. Uh, hey! A it's probably a, a comeback. A I mean, geriatric pregnancies at 35 is probably a wrap for you, honey. Wait, did and she do corn though? And a punchline all crafted into six simple words. Norm Macdonald's seen him. He's really good. Or, no, what's his name? Norm? Not Norm Macdonald. I don't know. He's really funny though. I've seen him live. No, wait a minute. You're sorry. You're sorry. You're sorry. We're all here laughing at her outburst because acknowledging <laughs> that she would have walked away in handcuffs if it was a man would be too bitter of a pill to swallow. Hey, what time is it? You know what? I just spent $2,000 on a watch for you, and you're going to ask me what time it is? You did not spend $2,000 oh! on a watch for me. It's in the kitchen. It's called a stove. It's called a the stove, The best jokes baby. are the ones that are so creative <laughs> that they leave you with your jaw What the I think Charles Barkley as a joke, he's like, women don't need to wear watches. The stove has a clock on it. <laughs> Lore before you start laughing. Man took her out in the second half. No, I use All right, all Especially right. Especially like, I use, like, if she look dirty, you gotta put one on. Of course. You know what I'm saying? So okay, okay, my question is, right? Mm hmm Do I look dirty to you? I said, do I look dirty to him? Like, cause you know what he just said? He just said he put oh. on some look dirty, especially. So, so basically, she's a runner, she's a track star. To me, what if I was the hit? Would I put that? Yeah, sure. She asked a question and he gave her an answer, and now she's mad because said, why sure. would he answer her question like that? What a king! What a king! Little do they know that his name is on that card. <laughs> Little did they know that his name is on that card. Bro, if that happened, bro, that'd be great. There's always looking out for each other. Kyle! Kyle's the smartest kid on the playground, and Kyle's something tells me he'll go far, far in life. Hey, Zara. Hi. All right, welcome back. Let's call this uh, guy Eddie. You met on one of the apps. You went on a uh -oh. date. You thought everything went really well. Uh, you were hoping to see the guy again, but you haven't heard from him, and you kind of feel... I mean, you're bummed out because you liked him. It was kind of just a lot, and you're let down because you were hoping it was all going to be worth it, and now you're being ghosted, and you want to know why. Exactly, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Well, let's call this guy now. Good luck, Zara. All right, thank you. Hello? Hi, is this Eddie? Yeah, was it? Uh, we're calling on behalf of a woman named Zara. You guys met on uh, one of the apps, and I guess you went out yeah. recently. Wow, this guy's yeah. a matter of fact. Okay, so you remember her then? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, I remember her. So what happened? Because she called us and said she liked you a lot and was hoping to see you again, and you've ghosted her. I mean, is that true? Did you ghost her? Well, it, it, there's going to be a really glaring reason of why he did it. And more than likely, she's not going to realize that it's a red flag and going to be like, well, why doesn't he just like me? He's stupid. He should just like me for me. I bet it's some crazy red flag. Are you ghosting her? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I'll okay. Tell you exactly. What Savage. Happened. Okay. Um, so we went on a date and it was great. We were having a good conversation. Great. Um, it comes to around the end of the meal. Um, I head to the bathroom and I come back, and then uh, the waiter brings the bill, and it's a lot more than I thought it was going. You know, look it over. Um, I call him over and I ask him, "Hey, why is my bill so much?" And he's like, "Well, uh, she." While you were in the she bathroom, added three entrees and an appetizer. Um, to, oh, to no. I was like, oh, absolutely not, bro. <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, what would you do if, if you went to the bathroom and she ordered three other entrees and an appetizer? Bro, I would go back to the bathroom and walk out that piece. There is no way, man. I can't believe she did that. That's unreal. Has that ever happened to you? Let me know in the comments. That's never happened to me, but if it did, I would just leave. 
Okay. <laughs> wow. She was hungry. She was a hungry lady. Um, yeah. I mean, I, mean, I assume she ate, she ate on the date, too, right? Wait a minute. Was she a... Uh... Big bag, big bag, big bag, big bag. <laughs> See, oh, or maybe she was a... You're a single mom. You said I'm a house kid. If he's here and now, you single and pregnant. Maybe she was one of those. Yes, she ate. We had, you know, two appetizers, even, um, and a dessert. So, I mean, she was full. Damn. Um... But it seems like she's <laughs> And that's what they mean when they say wow. there's two sides to every story. There's her side where she's the innocent victim, and then there's the side where she brought it on herself. What? Three entrees, bruv? Good lord. Is your decision Mahi or Jade? And uh, now what's gonna happen, Keaton? Okay. You're gonna be honest. You are gonna take your blindfolds off and point to the girl you were more interested in three, two, one. Hello. Hey. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> a lose lose hey, situation. You know, it looks like he's tall. A little nervous there, but yeah, it's all good. One would complain that he didn't like her personality, and the other would complain he didn't like her looks enough. Man's best bet is to pick someone from the audience. This woman ran into a parking lot. What's going on now? She tried to save it by standing. Are you kidding? No way! You're not even in a car, woman. Are you serious? No, no, no! Get out of here! Are you kidding? You're not in a car! Get out! Where? I don't see no car! You're just you running to a spot are right you now. Are you serious? Me? Are you? S no, you're here first. Are matter. you kidding me? You face right now, woman. Get out of here. Are you serious? All dude? this over a parking spot. I'm gonna keep it a buck. If I was the people in the car, I just would have kept it pushing, dude. It, it is what it is. Whatever. I've had this happen to me in Austin before. You just keep it pushing, bro. How are you gonna stand in a spot right now? Jesus Christ. You can't. We're just slowly inch forward. What's she gonna do? Stop the car? Dude, I really don't give a standing here. You have no car here. This is a car parking spot, not a woman parking spot. Idiot. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, mom. I'm gonna stand here all day. I got time. I got time. Stand here. I don't care, now. dude. Alright, stand there. This stuff is learned, bro. This stuff is learned. This bad behavior is learned, bro. Dude, seriously, I'm here. I don't care. He put it in park. He don't give a darn. You think you could freaking walk into a spot? Yeah, this stuff is learned, bro. Yeah, because that, that's Mama Bear. Where are you? I'm not being too proud. Which car being are you too in? Proud. Which car Where is this in? car? They got the grandma out too? Looking at him like he's stupid. This, ladies and gents, is what happens when you let women get away with a little too much for a little too long. <laughs> it's called entitlement and it's ugly. For real. Uh, no. No, I, I hate her actually. I don't like her. Me. It's my ex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Men, next time they try to scam you, you into getting her overly expensive flowers, just do what this guy did and Look pretend at her face. you didn't she even was like, know genuine. her. She's like, oh, you, know you actually hate her. Do you know what's an atrocity? Those shoes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Those are the I'm I'm about to go grilling threes. Those are those slap it on the grill fives. Those are those you want hot dogs threes. Those are those uh how do you like your burgers but cook them all but always cooks them the same way twos. You know, you've been there. You guys know. He's got the dad fit. Is that a pager? He got the notebook, the safari hat. He's ready. This guy's fully tactical. Ooh. The real atrocity here is that she thinks a viable comeback is mocking someone's appearance. I really thought that I do we that. came outside. I do that all the time. <laughs> I roast people all the time. For quality times, and he really brought me outside to walk because he thinks I should the lose. The bull nose ring is always a dead giveaway. It's 50 pounds before we get married. Shit Come on, like, why are you trying you to make a big stupid. thing about you sound this? Stupid. Like, for real, I'm trying to you make sound crazy. Both healthy. You sound I mean, I, I'm uh, trying to make actually, not, I applaud this guy for making her not want to be a big bag. Big that's good. She got the butterfly tat on the neck, red flag, bull nose ring, another red flag. 
But you don't you don't want to marry me until I lose 50 pounds. That doesn't make sense. That makes sense. We have, listen, I want you to look good in your wedding dress. Like, what's so wrong with that? But we can do that after the wedding. Why is that the only on, thing that's man. stopping you? When I you met you, we was not this big. We trying to lose weight. Like, why are you trying to make a big thing about me trying to take my woman, on, my fiance on a walk so we could be able to lose weight? Because I just feel like that shouldn't stop us. Like, we can get married right now. We're financially no. in the space to do it. Like, why can't we, we do it now? Get, we got to lose weight. We're like, not. Honestly, like, if you're not because we're physically not in a space to get married right now. I actually respect this guy. Let me know in the comments. Would you would you hold your girl accountable if she got big backed? And you said, hey, you know what, baby? I need you to lose some weight before I put you in a wedding dress. I think that's very fair. But the thing is, there's been studies out there. Does somebody want a chicken wing? Bro, I got a nice treat today. Chicken wings from PetSmart, buddy boy. Somebody want a chicken wing? All right, Lokes, come here. Sit, wait, free, go to your place. But it's very normal for, you know, once you get into a happy relationship where, you know, you get a little bit bigger, you get a little bit fatter, you get fat and happy as they call it. So, you know what, it makes sense. I think it's, I think it, it happens all the time. I know the modern dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt physically. Have you ever been the victim of a personal injury case? Every year as an image consultant, I meet so many different types of clients, and a lot of them are recovering from injuries or accidents, ranging from car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was extremely surprised to see how many people lost their personal injury cases, which is why I'm here to talk about Morgan & Morgan. America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they have won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working with them, they will fight for the money you deserve. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan secured verdicts of $12 million in Florida and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. And the best part is it's all free unless you win your case. If you have also been a victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi. Found in the description below where you can start your free claim today. But let me know in the comments, have you been in a relationship where once you guys were together for a bit, you've gained some weight? It happened to me. It happened to me and Cass. When COVID hit, we bro, bro we put on at least 10 or 15 pounds. <laughs> and it, it was what it was, but then we got our butts back in the gym. If you're not committed to losing weight, then I'm not finna marry you. I will be at some point, just not right now, but I think Come that's on, crazy that you don't want to marry me. Gotta be before if you can't be committed to lose weight, how are you going to be committed in a marriage? Get married, all right? You got to lose 50 pounds. You that's why we out here... Taking a walk, you're making a big thing about I need, nothing. I need them to see how crazy you sound right now. He doesn't you sound crazy. You literally won't marry me. Let He's me know in the comments. Does he sound crazy? I don't think he sounds crazy at all. So literally out there with you. That's a man who wants to kick things off the right way. Mm -hmm. Making sure both of y'all are the healthiest you've ever been. Facts. Maybe she should start with a healthy mindset first. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, if you guys want to see something truly breathtaking, baby girl, excuse me real quick. We have the Porsche Cayman S 3.4 liter flat six naturally asked. To be fair, he truly did that show us something clean. that's one in a million. <laughs> and unlike four blur billion out her feet. Truly <laughs> blurred out her feet. That is so hey, weird. Girl. You got a Birkin. If you want to Six naturally asked. To be fair, he truly did show us something that's one in a million. Unlike four billion others. If you got a Michael Kors bag or if you got a Birkin. If you want a Honda or if you want a Bentley. True. Those are not things being put forth by men as requirements. That's y'all competing with each other. Facts. I don't think you're being honest. Men are attracted yeah. to a woman that's, that's, that's. That? Why them girls not white? All of these girls that they look for on TV, none of them ever got a ring. Everybody trying to emulate and who everybody trying to be, none of them got a stable household. None of them got families with kids and a man and they out in Dubai as a couple. These same chicks that everybody trying to be, be in Dubai by their mother self with the sheiks get pissing on them for 25 grand. True story. The sheiks is making them their kids for 50 grand. You don't see none of those girls with a man and a house. None of them same Facts. girls that we all want to be have that lifestyle. So y'all try to find and emulate some that ain't even successful. Men not making no girl get no BBL. Ever. Chick is making themselves get a BBL to compete with what they think like because it clicks on social media. This girl got 77,000 likes on social media. This skinny chick over here with a decent body got seven likes. She happier than a mother. But do you think they do it because of the things they they insecure? Insecurities are the biggest driving factor. Men don't want to compete. I mean, he's got a point. I completely agree. Let me know in the comments. I think that. 
women use makeup to compete with each other. Because as men, like I said, we don't care if you drive a Honda or a Ferrari. We're going to buck you either way. It really don't matter to us. A Birkin, <laughs> a men are like, I only buck girls with Birkin bags. Nobody's saying that. Nobody's saying that. Stupid. You ladies do that to compete with each other. BBLs, boob implants, lip fillers, fake eyelashes, the hair, the nails, everything. Y'all do that to compete with each other. Because let, let me know in the comments. We'll do a poll right here. We'll do a poll. Gentlemen, what do you like more? Do you like natural looking women? or women that are enhanced with plastic surgery. Plastic surgery or natural? Let me know in the comments. I almost biggity bet you, every single guy that watches the channel, we got a lot of them, they all say natural. I bet they all say, I, I doubt there's any guy out there that's like, I like fake lips, fake eyelashes, fake hair, fake nails, fake butt, fake boobs, fake, I like fake everything. Guys don't like that. We like the real you. You wanna really attract a man? Natural hair, natural face, your natural body. That's what we like. Loving. Women want that too. Well, with a guy with a net worth over a million bucks. What do you mean lack of intimacy? Okay, so when he feels like he's not making enough money, he doesn't want to be intimate. So with him being out all day, trying to make money- Is that a thermal piercing on her chest? What? Trying to go to the studio and sell beats and doing this. I like dressed up in lingerie and got ready for him to come home. And he kind of just pushed me away like, I didn't make my goal today. I didn't make the money that I needed to make, so I am i don't feel like it. Have you ever had a bad day? Yes. Okay, at the end of a bad day, do you always feel like being intimate? Yes, that makes the day better. Okay, so I can tell you, a lot of people, when they have a bad day, that's kind of the last thing on their mind is being intimate. But and it wasn't you, a bad day. When you are an entrepreneur, when you eat with your mm. and you don't anything, that's a bad day. Okay, Facts. so if the rent is due, the last thing on my mind is have She set the standard, I mean, demands high value, point. and then has the goal to complain about him wanting well, this, to meet This goes to the whole thing of like when you set expectations and the expectations don't get met, people get upset. This is a good one when you're, um, if a girl, if you're talking with a girl and she's like, what are we? You've had that question. What are we really liking you? But we're just friends. And I don't want to set any expectations because when we set expectations and they don't get met, people get upset. You, I don't want to upset you. Do you want to upset me? Gaslighting Olympics, boy. I deserve the gold back in the day. <laughs> that standard. Wow, that's a woman who doesn't know what she wants. She just wants more of whatever the- Use that one all the time, it works. We're robbed and how she acted during makes me want to dump her. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Okay, Two weeks ago, this. me and my girlfriend were walking home while a little drunk after a party and we were robbed by an armed mugger. Mm. The guy stopped us, pulled out his arm and told us, give him our stuff. I all right, let's, let's, let's see what you guys would do. Would you give up your stuff at that moment? If he had a gun in your face and you didn't have a gun to protect yourself, would you give him your stuff? This is, this is you have, you're not armed. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the chat. Would you give him your stuff? Personally, I don't know if I would fight. It depends on the guy. But personally, I, my, my phone and my, I don't even carry a wallet, but my phone is not worth getting shot over. So I'd probably just give him the stuff. That's just my opinion. Unless you think fighting to the death and maybe potentially getting shot for your phone is worth it gave him my wallet and phone my girlfriend decided to be difficult i don't know why she's usually very smart but this is the stupidest thing i've ever seen her do <sighs> so she refused to give him her phone and purse she decided that the best this is why you also live in texas so you can carry a gun because <laughs> i would just be carrying a gun with me and if he pulled out a gun you just pull it out and, def and defend yourself course of action was to argue with him she kept yelling at me to do something which led to the guy keeping a trained on me the entire time. She was doing way too much. She had no sense of self-preservation and it was very clear she valued her material possessions more than my life. Eventually, I took both from her and gave it to the guy and he ran off. Afterwards, she was pissed at me for keeping us both alive. I grew up in the hood and I have things like this happen more than once. I know the best way to make it out of these situations is just give them your crap so they'll leave. Facts. It sucks losing money, but that's a lot better than getting hurt or worse in the streets over mm. a few hundred dollars. Facts. Both of our lives are worth more than that but she doesn't see it that way her utter lack of desire to keep both of us alive over money is a huge wake-up call to me how can i trust her to be with me throughout the rest of my life that is a crazy well, she, story. and she won't take your lead or, yeah. she's probably not thinking rationally so it's a little unfair but i also get where you're coming from that's a really terrifying situation yeah. a woman who can't stand up for herself isn't allowed to tell you how to be a man that's just the law oh baby don't cry here you go that's for you oh there you go and look i also got you a fry here you go Ah, uh, see, babe? Just like his mama. <laughs> a little fatty. <laughs> hey! Uh, uh, do you want some, too? 
Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> what I see here isn't that she raised him to have some. <laughs> Just a little fatty. This mommy wants some too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's funny, dude. How old are you? I'm 29. What's the most challenging? Oh, she looks way older than 29. Changing thing about dating at 29 in Miami. When you have nothing to offer. You are the man. A man. Okay. I feel like men these days, like you have to like pretty much ask them what's their favorite lip gloss because they just want princess treatment. What gives you that idea? They just want you to like chase after them. They want you to like be the well, one. We as men are the prize, honey. We're the prize. We make all the money. We have all the stuff. You were born with your value. We have to go out in the marketplace and earn ours. What are you talking about? You're the one that's entitled, not us. To initiate conversations, I just... There's die like alone. no like real men. Get anymore. a petting zoo and die alone. Get get some donkeys. <laughs> get a little rabbit. You know what I mean? Get some ferrets. Have you ever smelled a ferret? They smell like shit. Should a man not be chased and admired? No, they should be chasing. Okay. What gave you that mentality? Mm -hmm. How's that work for you? Um, I think maybe my upbringing. Mm -hmm. This goes back to the whole thing of women are raised knowing what to expect from a man, but they're never taught what men expect from them. It's brutal. What about it though? A man should be a man. I don't know. Yeah. Is there a difference between Stupid. pursuing and chasing, though? It's like the same thing. Yeah, they're like the same thing. So how do you show a man that you value him if he's always chasing you? If I actually want him, then I will make the time for him and give him attention. But if he's not giving me that initial attention, then I'm good. She might have been wearing white, but that's a walking red flag, right? Yeah, I'm sorry, but these types of women usually grow up and it's they turn into sister wives where they live with their girls. Um, he needs help. They live with all their girlfriends and then they're alone. I can help him if I'm down. He can help me. Go yeah. Go please. Who paid for the first date? For him. Yeah. Who paid for the second date? Probably him. Who paid for the third date? Probably Did him. How long would you take care of your man if he couldn't work anymore? Let's say. Maybe like six months. Six wow. months? That's it. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, that's not equality. Since I have a timeline on it, that means that it's not equal because men, it's in our nature to provide for a woman forever. Fact. So close. She had us in the first half. Maybe six months? This man gonna get six months paying all this? What you, what you looking for? What the f you looking for? Too aggressive. You got my number for business purposes. Oh! <laughs> He did not accept, so you can walk off oh. <laughs> Looked at him with puppy eyes, and when he said he wasn't interested, she looked at him cross-eyed. So basically, the only demographic that shouldn't have a type are men. You think you have kids? I'm not having kids. What you mean, not having kids? I'm not having kids. That's what you're going to do. No, I'm not. Why would you not want to have kids? Why would I? Well, I'm asking you. Why don't I want to have kids? Well, I think I it's good that she... It probably isn't because if you're this adamant on not, please don't bring a kid into this world and, and neglect them. I think that's child abuse. Bringing a kid into this world and just neglecting him is horrible. See any benefit? What? You don't see any a, benefit? From giving somebody life? You have a kid and your life becomes about the kid. I want my life to be about me. Oh, you so childish. That's okay. I have to wonder where this generation's hate towards. Well, it's. I don't think it's the hate towards people, it's the adoration of self. One of the worst parts about being a man is paying for everything. All the time. <laughs> I think that's a pretty big one that I hate. Yeah. Not it's huge. only do we have to pay for everything all the time, but we're also not even allowed to complain about it. No, no, you that's can't quite do that. a move by the feminists. It's good work, you know? They're going, hey, pay for all of our <laughs> and shut up about it. <laughs> that's pretty impressive. Women in my life talk about my money like it's nothing. It's like, we should go to Miami again. I'm like, no, we shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, no, like, Come on, you had fun. We danced. I sucked your I'm like, yeah, pretty good deal for you. <laughs> you know, about halfway through the trip, I was like, how about I suck my own and pay for one thing? How about that? That'd be, that'd be wild. You might think, hey, this guy's an asshole, but these jokes aren't for you, ladies. They're for your husbands and boyfriends. You know, they've earned it. <laughs> they paid for it. <laughs> Uh, that's there's always some woman after the show. It's like, hey, I pay for all my stuff. I'm like, yeah, you're gross. I'm talking about you. Yeah, facts. Complaining about hot chicks, not you. <laughs> this is why I say the only the only type of women that can be in the friend zone are ugly women. <laughs> I mean, it may be savage, but it's so true. You don't see hot chicks in the friend zone, dude. You ne I've never seen a, f a hot chick in the friend zone. It just doesn't happen that way. <laughs> Day yesterday, not one 
<laughs> equal pay, but not paying equally. Why did this man go all day yesterday? Not one text, not one phone call, mute, right? He said nothing. Then I get in the car, I'm on my way to work, I check my phone. He wrote me, good morning. Good morning? More like good night. For the life of me, I cannot figure out why men go MIA, they disappear for hours, sometimes a whole day, 24 hours. Child. And then they just reappear like, hello. Like this is some sort of Disney fairy tale princess movie. Uh, man. Honey, you're a regular schmeg. Shots fired! Shots fired! All these women want all this crazy treatment, but you're a regular girl, dude. You're just so regular. You're not anything crazy. Why would a guy have to chase, like, mad crazy for you when you're just a regular schmeg? Andrew, a deal breaker. For women? Sure. Shout out, shout out, Andrew. <laughs> Andrew Wilson did an interview with him earlier this week. It'll be coming out next week. Really cool dude. I'll give you two easy ones. Okay. Cruelty to children and the elderly. Deal breakers. Yeah, deal breakers. this is like one. for anyone, right? Yeah. No, not for anyone. Definitely it's particularly deal. like the nature of a woman to be nurturing. You find some women who talk about kids. In these circles, you find them all the time. Antinatalist, people like this. Actually mock children mock what they call breeders, mock what they call women who actually take care of their children, mock motherhood, all right? One of the representations of the view that I have, even though feminists hate my guts, is I feel like I represent real women in that worldview better than most because ultimately what I see over and over and over again from liberal progressive scumbags, liberal atheist mind, and from the feminist mind is that they are antinatalist, they hate children, and they hate the elderly, and they mock them incessantly. If I had to really think about it, the two biggest red flags, any type of feminist who does any mockery of actual motherhood, that's the biggest red flag. I would run the other direction. Maternal instincts are I being mean, Andrew's got a point. Super based. There's a couple other clips in here I wanted to react to. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. My first one is we pretty much go 50-50 on all domestic labor, but we don't go 50-50 on bills and financial things. So now that we know that he's super provider, man, let's see what his wife well, his girlfriend is packing him for lunch. <laughs> Man, what's cracking, y'all? This is what my girlfriend packing for lunch, day oh, three. God. And yeah, I got a new job. Who cares? Starting off with an essential bottle of water. We always need our bottle of water. So, okay, okay. This guy pays for all the bills and does half of the work or half of the domestic labor, I guess. This, this lunch better be Fuegos Rancheros. If it ain't. She's a runner. She's a track star. Let's see. I got some chips. Oh, hell jalapeno. no. Jalapeno. These chips is fire. Oh, no. If you don't know, I just put them on again. We got two beef sticks. What? I don't know why we got two today, but yeah, I actually <laughs> like them, so it don't really matter. Beef sticks? Yeah, she didn't cook that and she prepared this. <laughs> she, she literally went to the pantry and said, what do we got? <laughs> what do we got type shit? Oh my god! A kind bar? A bar and a peach cup. Lastly, we got a PB&J. And yeah, I like PB&Js because why not? It reminds me of my childhood. Oh. I and mean, I guess this is a good lunch, man. <laughs> Bro, that is a trash lunch. Let me know in the comments right now. Let me know in the comments. Is that a good lunch? <laughs> Bro, that lunch is trash! <laughs> this poor guy! Look, you want another chicken wing? Come here. Sit. Wait. Free. Bro, that's not how we do it here, bro. That's not how we do it here. I pay the bills, cast cooks and cleans. It's just how it is. I mean, I just that's that's insane to me. He pays all the bills, does half the work, she does a little bit, and then that's what she prepares him for lunch. That's a preparation. That's not even cooking. She literally went to the pantry and said, "What we got?" and put it in a put it in a box. Beef sticks? A PBJ? And you see how he justified all of it. Man, this cat really out here having these men delusional. That's why we gotta end the simpidemic. No guy in his right mind would put up with that. Let me know, if your girl prepared you that for lunch, would you be happy with that? Would you be like, baby, thank you so much. Thank you, baby. <laughs> I'd be madder in a hornet's nest, bro. I'd be so mad if Cass put that in my damn lunch. <laughs> I want a hot plate. I want something that took some cooking. 
some elbow grease. I want some love in that. There was no love in that lunch. It lacked love, complete lack of love. Goodness gracious. But that's what you get with these Gen Z girls. They learn how to suck pee pee, but they never learn how to cook a meal. It's crazy to me, bro. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, Loki, did you have a good time? He's too busy eating. Um, but don't forget to cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality. It's selling like absolute hotcakes. Shout out to you guys. We've sold, I think, almost 60 copies now. So it's in the link in the description. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.